welcome back to gold rush rp so in the last episode we of course tried to get up our import alcohol business quite a bit honestly didn't go too well um we might end up actually joining with a other person who's actually getting into another import business at some point we might join up with them i'm not too sure yet but what i want to do today and what i want to check out today is because we haven't been over to mexico in a little bit it seems like quite a lot has been happening over there it has like a full town over here now it seems like this town's got a little bit better it seems like the spot over at the fort is pretty much the same and of course there's the mine over here but this town seems like it's actually up and running now of course we can't see any of the blips because it's kind of weird down there but I think we're going to start off today kind of checking out this town and seeing how Mexico has been developing because when we went there, there really wasn't anyone around. So I think we're going to go check out how Mexico has developed since the last couple days where we haven't been over there. So uh, I guess let's head over there, check it out and see what's been happening over in Mexico. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty, so we're over by the border. Let's head over. It seems like there's some camps over here now as well. Wait, this looks way different from wait this is way different this am i at a different bridge this looks way different than before wait a second i'm pretty sure all this has changed unless there's another bridge yeah i think this has completely changed because i'm at the, yeah i'm at the normal spot it looks like this whole entire spot has changed over now because this used to be way different when we went here the first time so now there's like a little jail over here there's some camps over here I don't know if anything's actually any of these actually have anything at them. I might as well check it out. Doesn't seem like there's much here to be honest. I think it's all across the border. Let's uh let's head over the border and see what's changed over there. Has there been a whole mess of people over there lately? I haven't been over to the towns in the last couple days. I haven't been back over for a while. Is this bridge new? Uh yeah, they yeah. did some uh, repairs to it. It seems. Okay, like this is a lot bigger. Fuck yeah, it's a lot. It's bigger. a lot, it looks a lot nicer. nicer too. Beep, beep, beep. All right, well, I'm gonna head over. Hopefully, I come back alive. Y'all take right, be care. Safe. Yep, 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 you too. All right, though, let's check out the other side. I don't think we have anything super valuable. I mean, we do have our bolt action in our map, but I think we'll be okay. Doesn't seem like there's anyone over here in this like little initial town. Probably not worth checking out. But let's go check out one of the actual towns. I'm guessing. This one seems to be actually getting established. Although I really don't remember any buildings or anything being over here. So I'm not really sure what it's going to look like. Because I swear we've gone through this area and there wasn't anything here at all. But, you know, maybe they constructed some buildings down there. I don't know. Let's head over there and uh, I guess see what we can find. Hopefully there's like a nice thriving town over there now. I guess we will see. Alright, it does look like there's a little bit of a town over there now. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, that is the town. I don't remember any of those buildings being there. So let's get a little closer and check it out. Alrighty. It looks like a lot has developed out here. We can probably put our gun away. I'm guessing... This doesn't seem like there's many people in the town though. I thought this would have been populated by now. But holy crap, there's a lot over here now. I don't think any of this was here when we came here like a week ago or whenever we initially came here i don't think oh that's some oil i don't think any of this was here initially it's pretty interesting oh there's some shooting so at least there's some people around i feel like there's some people hunting over there maybe just one oh there's a couple people over there hunting what are they shooting at i'm so confused either a really bad shot or they're hitting something big. I'm not really sure what's going on over there. Oh, it looks like they're coming to us. So I think we're about to find out shortly. Hola, amigo. How y'all doing? Amigo, my business to be over in Mexico. I'm just checking out the town. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you why. Do you have a Mexican citizenship? I do not. I just came over here to check it out. Okay, amigo, so I tell you, okay, Mexico works a little differently, so they got some rules down here, okay? So there's a $20 boarding pass to the cross, otherwise you're trespassing on a, on a Mexican soil. All right. Are you part of the uh, that patrol? Ah, uh, Mexican military, amigo, I'm private. Oh, well, I can see. Okay, I got the money for you. Yeah, amigo, yeah, or if you got some food, too, with the 20 bucks. I can do both for you, Phil. Much appreciated. There you go, and you want some goulash or some steak dinner or some si, bread? See, si, goulash would be good. Amigo. Goulash, yeah. okay. See, si, yeah, uh, you're you good. Go. 
Send you give me this, amigo. You're good for three days, okay? All right, all right. Anything I should check out while I'm down here? Um, I would recommend the mines. The mining is good down here, amigo. You know, lots of very fruitful iron ore veins and whatnot. Yeah, yeah we also have a, uh, Yeah, we also got a ruby mine down here and fertile farmland. Oh, really? Okay, okay. See, si, see, si, yeah. All you right. Bird in your ass. Hey, you look a little bird. You look a little crispy, amigo. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I think it's well done. Too. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, we found an opium still. What? Wait, what? Yeah, have you ever seen one? I have not. Come here, I'll show you, amigo. Okay. Is it far away? It's it literally is right here. <laughs> opium still? Okay, then let's check it out. Where was it, Arthur? Wasn't it right over here? Ah, yeah. Oh, here my. Is. Yeah, this is an opium oh, still, amigo. Lovely. You gotta get the, you gotta get the poppies. What the hell? I've never even heard of opium. It's a lot of, uh, it's very, you know, uh, high level criminals only, you know, can get these kind of things. You know, drugs oh, are illegal okay. in Mexico, but as long as the military gets a cut, you know. Oh, I see, I see. Basically, the only three rules you need to know about Mego, my friend, is no robbing, no killing, and the military's word is the final law. So, you know, basically, you gotta do whatever the military says, and you'll be fine. All right. Here. By the way, we am out here. Are there any predators out here? Like bobcats? No, or no, anything? not at the moment. No. Okay, okay. You yeah, go. no, usually, like, if you're around after the seven o'clock storm, that's when all the military are around, amigo. Uh, what's happening with the four? Anything change with that? Which one? This one, uh, El Presa deal? The big ass fort on the hill. Oh, yeah, that place, um, there's no more changes with that, but, um, that's where El Presidente hangs out, so, you know, that's where uh, oh, the military okay. usually is, yeah, see. But, um, it's funny, if you want to, if you like to watch shows, amigo, you should come after the uh, storm, come down here, because, uh, we, at night, with our rules of engagement, we're allowed to take pot shots at the lawmen on the other side. So <laughs> really? last, last night, we were firing a Gatling gun and a, shooting a cannon at them for like an hour or two in a that row. That sounds like a good time. It is, amigo. It sounds like funny. A good, another good stress reliever. Amigo, if you want a good stress reliever, join the Mexican military. <laughs> we could do their service. Oh, my. Yeah. This is, it's nice down here, though. See, I, went, see. Uh, I was here before anything was established a long time ago. But it's I nice see. to see stuff happen now. Yeah, and amigo, uh, do you know who Greg Blackwell is? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, he's the amigo who walks around as a hamster in his bandana all the time. Oh, yeah, I've seen him, I've seen him, I've seen him. Yeah, he's buying the saloon in down here, amigo. So, you know, if you want to start business right. down here, I would suggest doing it now while there's nothing oh. down here. Because you would, you know, very big opportunities, amigo. Well, I have a lot of alcohol crates if they need some imported. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, we're planning on exporting, I think. I think we're, uh, I'm pretty sure the military, we're going to start producing tequila and sending it out. So maybe we could do a trade, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah. tequila for your, uh, I'm assuming it's wine. Uh, well, whiskey, good whiskey, uh, champagne, a bunch of stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, amigo, it'll be very hard for the saloon owners down here to get, uh, you know, that American imports. Exactly. So I can so, import uh, it for y'all. Yeah, amigo, yeah, you'll have to talk to Greg and the people who buy the saloons down here, but that would probably be something good, because I feel like a lot of these saloons in uh, the States, they already have connections. Exactly. They've been for a long time, you know. And I've been trying to start this uh, alcohol import, but everyone already has a person they go to, you know? See, si, see, si, yeah. Yeah, no, um, Mexico is a land of opportunity right now. You know, a lot of new things, and they're building it. So also start constructing some towns and such. It, it's a pretty nice place in a couple, you know, a week or two. Plus, right now, amigo, like, it's good, because if you come down here and you just pay the blurring pass, you can literally mine and farm with no problems at all. You know, no one's going to rob you. <laughs> if they do, they get life in prison. Okay. You're jamming over there, aren't you? Yeah, that's Stella <laughs> Faye. She's a good dancer. I see that. I see that. She got, like, moves. Holy. Yeah. She got them. She got that wobble in her stomach. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> see. Look at your feet. Look at your feet. Look at your movement. <laughs> Oh my. All right, well, I'm gonna go probably check out what's, is there anything interesting in the town to check out? Um, I would say like if the saloon is working, check it out. There's a medical tent, a butcher shop. So once there's animals down here, um, right now, not really like there's a gun store. If like, if you want to farm and mine, that's what I would say come down here for right now. Like some people just come to hang out. Like if you bring a bunch of friends, amigo, we have a poker table in El Presidio, oh, so you can, you can I would play love poker, some poker with your friends down there, yeah. Hey, damn, I should have brought more money. 
Yeah, if you bring friends and money down here, you know, and play poker shit, I'll probably play a hand of poker with you and Biggles as well. I love me some poker. I've been thinking about trying to host a, like a poker tournament. Everyone brings like a grand, like a big stakes. And no one leaves till it's over. Yeah, hey, it might be the perfect place for it. It would, amigo, because, you know, no one would be able to <laughs> steal or scam because they would just get killed by the military. <laughs> see, amigo, you see, we got to be heading back to the border, but it was good talking to you, amigo. Hey, you as well, Phil. Okay, come on, Arthur. I I'm probably going to check stuff out a little bit, but it was nice meeting you. What was your name again, Phil? Uh, Pepe Esquelio. Pepe, all right. Well, nice to meet you. See, si, see, si, uh, nice to meet you, too. All right, well, y'all take care. Nice meeting y'all. You as well, Stay amigos. Safe. You as well. Come on, Stella Fay. Let's go to your house. All righty. So we got to check it out a little bit. Let's actually go check out the saloon while we're here. It seems like a lot of development is happening over in Mexico. It seems like they're working on some towns. You know, obviously the mine, as I we tested out in the previous episode or two episodes ago or something, is very profitable. So this actually, you know, Mexico is finally turning into something better. And I'm kind of excited for it. Let's check out the saloon. Just like a little nice, simple saloon in here. It's quite interesting, actually. Do they have anything back here? I'm just curious. Okay, just a little bathhouse. It's a pretty interesting little spot, though. Honestly, it's just really cool seeing people actually, you know, Mexico actually becoming a thing. And, of course, a lot more people coming over here. It's cool to see. I don't think there's anything at this gun store. Uh, let's check out what the gun shop offers. Oh, it's just a regular gun shop, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like just a regular gun shop. All the prices look the same. Yeah, all these prices look the same as every gun store. So I'm guessing this is just a normal one. Anything else in this town? Uh, of course, we have the saloon, a medical tent, El Matadero. Check out what that is. Let's see what this El Matadero is about, though. I think it should be right here. Maybe? It should be right on it. A little bit behind us. Right here? Yeah, I have no idea what this is. This just might be like a little farming thing. I'm not sure if you can actually farm here, but it's like a little interesting little farmland they got going. Got some target practice over here. Dude, this place is this place is looking really good. Little traveling van over here. Not van, little traveling wagon over here. All in all, it's a really cool spot. What is this little thing? I'm guessing it's a little notice board. Okay, so there is a notice board. Anything on it? Uh, Comanche horses. Okay, a bunch of just random stuff, it seems. What's in here? Oh, this is just like a nice little... Oh, wait, can we actually access the bank from here? No, we can't. So we can check our telegrams in here. What did I see? Okay, search drawer, so nothing over there. A little telegram station in here. Let's actually check if we have a telegram from the guy we talked to yesterday. Eh, it doesn't seem like he sent us a telegram yet, unfortunately. Hopefully he'll send us one at some point. But it's definitely really, really cool checking out Mexico. He did say that it might be worth prospecting here, but... I am not spending all the time that we spent last time when we tried to do it. So I think we are not going to be doing that today. But they did say there were some fertile lands out here, which might be a perfect spot for some swamp herb. Especially to grow like a huge amount of it. Only problem would be getting water out here. There's not really too many water. So we need to bring a water carriage over or a water wagon over as well. So we would need quite a lot of resources. Although I was thinking we might want to invest in a wagon soon. I think it'd be a really good investment to allow us to carry a bunch of stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Because I've been thinking about purchasing a wagon for a bit. To help us when we do farming or mining or stuff like that. But the only thing is it's a little risky if you're alone. But either way, let's uh, let's head back over the border. I'm probably going to head up to our you know little hometown of Strawberry. And see what's happening up there. And uh, I think I have some couple plans for the day that we will figure out in just a little bit. But either way, I will see you guys once we are back over the border. Back in the U.S. of A. Alrighty, we are over in Valentine, but it doesn't seem like much is going on. So what I think we're going to do is head over to St. Denis, but we are actually going to first of all head over to Blackwater because yesterday we actually bought a canoe and I think we're going to be testing it out today. See if it's any faster to get from Blackwater over to here than it is to, of course, take our horse and go all the way around. Again, I've also never used a canoe, so it's going to be a little bit of a new experience for us. So uh, let's head over to Blackwater. Grab out our canoe from the bank. I'll meet you guys once we're over at the docks or at the water. And I guess we're going to test it out. Hopefully we don't drown and the ship sinks. But uh, either way, let's hope it uh, goes well. I'll see you guys once we're over at the Blackwater docks with our canoe. Testing it out and uh, hopefully not crashing the boat. I guess we'll see how this goes. And we are over in Blackwater by the docks. Let's get off Ashy. 
play him for now and let's go see how this works again i brought the canoe with us i'm guessing we just use it now i'm not sure if we should use it right here or actually get into the water first uh you know what we'll get into the water first and let's see if we use it and craft a canoe placing canoe boom okay now can we just hit e i'm guessing to get on it perfect okay now okay this is pretty simple this is pretty simple we got a little canoe going though <laughs> this is actually sweet this is actually really cool let's see uh how far away make sure we're heading in the right direction so we're probably gonna want to land around here or down here yeah we'll probably just go through like the middle of these two rocks is what i think we're gonna do hopefully we don't run into anything bad uh let's head over there and again hopefully we don't sink let's see how it goes I'm actually curious. Can we shoot off the boat? Oh, we can shoot off the boat. So we could hunt these two. Oh, there's iguanas. I actually kind of wonder what's uh what's over here. So there's this little island here that I've never really explored before. We could check it out real quick. I'm just worried about my canoe. I think that should be good. I think our canoe should stay here. I wonder if there's actually anything on this island. It seems like there's little iguanas over here. So definitely nice, nice and little cute little lizards. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's running. He's running. He's going to go in the water. Oh, he's going. He's going. Okay. It's a nice little island over here, though. I wonder if there's anything, like, interesting at it. Let's look around for a little bit. See if we can find anything interesting. Well, I found a little crashed pirate ship. Don't think there's going to be anything over here. Inspect lockbox. I don't think this does anything. And this is just all stuff that's left over from the base game. I don't think this will actually do anything. Nope, nothing. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay, nothing. Definitely a cool little crash site, though. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here that we can really find. Let's keep looking around the island. All right, so I do see a little something over there. I think we should be okay swimming over there. I think we should be okay, but it looks like there's like a little smokestack and everything. Let's go see what's happening over there. Oh, yeah, we don't even have to swim here. We're fine. Go see what's happening over at that little camp and if there's anything interesting there, I guess. Alrighty. So this looks just like a little. Oh, it's like a little performing spot, it looks like. You have a little saloon here, a bunch of chairs, a little fireplace, a little stage up there. One's actually an interesting spot, but I don't think this is anything about any stuff that we're looking for. This all just seems to be normal stuff. I don't think I found too much on the island, so uh, let's head back to our canoe and I guess head over to the mainland. And uh, I'll see you guys once we're over in Saint Denis. Hopefully the rest of the boat trip goes all right. Alrighty, we're about to land the canoe. I'm a little worried though, because I don't know how to get the canoe back. So boom. Now, is there a way for us to like pick the canoe back up or something? Uh, Canoe, pick up, pick up maybe? No. So I'm not really sure how we get our canoe back. Unless, is it still in our inventory? No, it got used up. So I'm going to be a little mad if we can't get our $200 canoe back. Really not sure. How we're supposed to get our boat back slash boat. Pick up. No. Grab. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we get our canoe back. Um, I'm going to try a bunch of different things and let's see if we can find a way to pick this thing back up. 20 minutes later. All right. So I spent a bunch of time. I have no idea how to pick this up. So I guess it's ripped $200. Which really sucks, because that's a lot of money, but I have no idea. I tried everything. No idea how to pick it up. Uh, I guess... I guess we're just screwed. Well, that sucks. I do know there is a boat shop here. Or, there was a boat... There's a boat shop up here. So I'm wondering if maybe it's... Those kind of boats are different from the ones that I bought from the stall. Let's head over to the boat shop and, uh, I guess check it out a little bit. Alright, so the boat shop should be... I believe, right around here. Here it is. So let's check it out boat shop 
So owned boats. I wonder, hopefully our canoe is here. It is not. Okay. So I think we bought a, the wrong kind of boat. I think that's what happened. We can buy actual canoes here. And I'm guessing these canoes actually stay with us. So we honestly might want to invest in one of these at some point. The steamboat is actually really freaking sweet. $7,500 is over. seventy-seven. Not ever getting that. This thing is sweet as well. If you wanted to use this for like transporting a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if there's storage, but I'm guessing there is. That's yeah, some pretty cool stuff overall, but I don't think we're going to buy one right now, of course. But uh, let's head over into St. Denis and uh, see what's happening over there. I'll see you guys in just a second. Howdy. Oh, hello. <laughs> let's see you. How's it going? Very, very good. How about yourself? Uh, it's been better. It's been better, but I'm doing all right. Oh, what what uh, what are you doing around now? Oh, uh, right now. Location? Well, I was trying to start a importing for alcohol, but it didn't end up going too well. Seems like everyone already is importing from someone, so I'm oh. just trying to figure stuff out. Our company company is expanding a lot, and basically, we also have the Black Russian stables. I don't know if you heard about them. I have not. Um, so we just give people the the chance to work under our name which is already pretty famous mm -hmm. around um we don't take any percentage anything you know it's just them working out under our name and just operating out of Kaliga hall and all of that and just you know right, uh, be part of the family so i don't know like russian imports sound something very nice but <laughs> oh maybe maybe yeah and i mean if i were to start over again right now all I would do would be imports. I mean, there would be three things: it would be imports with the alcohol. It would be the second one would be a pawn shop, which is very hard but like doable. You know, not impossible. Well, yeah, I've seen very people hard. doing them. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, there would be a third that would be like uh, oil prospecting and rigging yeah, and all of that stuff. Honestly, so, yeah. Black Russian imports does sound pretty good. Yeah. Pretty interesting, yeah. And what? maybe if you work good enough and you show your face often and people know about you more and more, maybe, you know, you'll be able to get yourself like uh, some drink that you only make, like that you're the only one that makes it and sells it like uh, Ooh, like that'd be Russian vodka or something. You know? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, and it could be like a, in a bottle shaped of like, a, I don't know, a tobacco leaf or something. Yeah, yeah, some some fancy stuff, yeah, and right. you could sell it for like ten dollars a bottle. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. That and basically could be we have, yeah, and basically with all of our employees, we have like around six or seven stalls around Holy. the Commonwealth, and you could just sell this product in there also, you know, hey, make some yeah. money. Um, I'm not thinking about also, that. There might be something good. I mean, I will let you know when we we get this actually, you know, working. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And, let uh, me know for sure. Yeah, maybe you can buy the third stall in there and yeah, oh, make some money. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me because, know for sure. Let me know for sure. Yeah, because you see Kaliga Hall, it's between roads and uh, Saint Denis. I think you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a it's a place that a lot of people pass through, just like Emerald Branch, basically. So yeah, you know, exactly. it's like yeah, it's pretty interesting, you know, to be there. Hey, if you ever get that running, uh, let me know for sure. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, well. I'll probably see you around. Man. All right, then. Yes, yes, sir. You take care. You as well. You as well. So we just ran into uh, Mr. Lebezinov, the guy who, again, we once were in a union with, and then eventually he went off on his own, created a tobacco company, and now has this whole entire, like, area to his spot. Um, but we talked to him a little bit, and he might be starting an import company. That's something we could probably help out with and maybe even run at some point and he said maybe you know in the future we might even be able to get our own import of like our own specialty alcohol which would be really cool but uh it's definitely some interesting stuff to think about for the future i actually think that's gonna be pretty much it for today's episode i know today's was a little bit of a shorter one so i am sorry for that i'm just a little bit sick today or actually i'm quite under the weather today so again sorry for a little bit of a shorter episode 
but I'm honestly just not feeling the best. But either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. We, of course, want to go check out the development of Mexico and how Mexico has been developing. And it looks like it's been doing quite well. They now have a little store or a little town over there. It looks like the border and the bridge has been improved as well. And it sounds like a lot of stuff is going to be going on over there. And that might be the spot where we do a huge grow of Swamp Herb that sounds like the good spot we could pay off all the uh, mexico guards or whatever and then make a huge plantation of swamp herb only problem will be getting it over the border but that could be something really interesting to do in the future i think off camera i'm going to talk to quite a couple people and see if for the next video if we can start a huge swamp herb plantation over in mexico because the fellow over there did say that there are some really good farmlands over there so it actually might be worth doing and it would just be a fun little experience to do either way but again i think that's me about it for today's episode hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video